Hey everybody, so it's been a while since I did any updates on the John Deere 214, so what I wanted to do today was go over what I'm doing with it right now. Um, I'm finally biting the bullet and converting this tractor over to a hydraulic lift. Um, with my upcoming move to the new house, I foresee a lot more use out of this tractor with the tiller as well as the front blade. And I think it's just going to be really beneficial for me if I go ahead and do that conversion. I came across the hydraulic conversion kit last week that was incomplete and it was missing the hydraulic drive pulley that goes on the engine which is kind of a big deal but luckily I was able to actually find one of these pulleys by itself also for sale otherwise I wouldn't have bought the kit so yes I had to buy the pulley separately and the kit separately but I also got everything for a price that I was happy with the only other thing that this kit needs whenever it gets here is going to be a set of new hydraulic hoses I'm not really too worried about that because most of the kits I've seen for sale on eBay you have hoses that are either rubbed really bad and, and heavily damaged and need to be replaced anyway so it's really not that big of a deal to me to have to go ahead and spend you know maybe 50 60 bucks on a set of hoses and fittings to, to go ahead and put this together so like i said not all the parts are here yet um, i do have the pulley i went ahead and today and put it on the engine so i have to put the screen back on um, i wanted to point out that i've seen on all these kits that you're going for sale on ebay that you know most of them are missing little things here and there little odds and ends and one of the things that I noticed that a lot of them are missing is an extra washer that goes behind the pulley between there and the other washer that's already on the crank. And if you look in the instructions, which I'll most likely put a link in the video description, it specifically calls out for a 0.12 inch thick washer to go there behind that pulley in between the other washer. I think if you would go without this washer, like a lot of people probably do, it puts the pulley a little bit too close to the screen and probably slightly out of alignment with the pump pulley as well. So that's where I'm at right now with the 214. I'm going to be taking the spring assist off for the manual lift here pretty soon. Uh, once the other parts come, I'm going to go ahead and swap that out for the hydraulic ram, get the, uh, the new side panel piece with the lever and control valve on it mounted up. Then I'm going to have to take some measurements for the hydraulic hoses that I need to have made. Alright, so stay tuned for my next couple of videos where I'm going to go ahead and go through the rest of the installation of the hydraulic lift. Thanks for watching.